Don't just be another foreigner, be a local Lao Wai. In case you've been nursing a hangover and missed the last four episodes on social settings and Chinese nightlife, stay tuned for this handy review. While Chinese students work hard, many of them play hard during the free time, too. Don't be surprised if you're invited to sing your heart out into the wee hours of the morning at a Chinese karaoke bar, KTV. Dorms are private spaces where students live and study, and they usually lock their doors before midnight. So don't be offended when your Chinese friend asks you to leave before 12 a.m. International students often rent apartments outside of campus, making house parties a staple of student nightlife. Although the same rules apply, you probably shouldn't show up uninvited with 30 extra friends and a truckload of beer. The local student bar, awash with food and drink deals, is a common meeting place for international students. And you can bet there'll be plenty of nightclubs playing Billboard Top 100 hits within earshot. Drinking in China is an important social pastime with homegrown favorites like Baijiu, Huangjiu, locally brewed beer, and fruit flavored wines that can accompany almost any social situation. You shouldn't feel obligated to drink your Chinese friends under the table, but at the same time, continually refusing to drink could be considered rude. The line between work and personal life is blurred in China, and you might find yourself partying hard at the bar at the behest of your boss. Chinese clubs have minimal dance space, and most of the area is covered by tables, where set groups stay most of the night. Mingling between tables is relatively uncommon. Each table, depending on its size and position in the club, will have a spending minimum that is usually very easily met with the amount of food and drink normally ordered for an entire party. The host for your party will order a food and drink package that usually includes some drinking snacks, an entire bottle of liquor, and soft drinks with which to mix the hard liquor. As for the liquor, vodka and whiskey are very common. But just drinking a straight bottle of liquor isn't palatable for anyone. So to sweeten things up, it'll be mixed with soft drinks chosen by the host. Sweetened tea drinks and soda are both very common choices. Drinking games like this one that involves guessing how many dice of a given number are on the table are commonly played at bars across the country. Three, four. Five, five. Top two. Twelve twos. Let's see. There's only ten of them. I win. What? Why is it wild? It's 30 now. KTV has roots that can be clearly traced back to the U.S. Namely, when U.S. Marines introduced jukeboxes to Japan in the 1950s, and music videos which were made popular by MTV starting in the 80s. Now most KTV goers actually don't know the history. In fact, many people, vaguely sensing the American roots at the core of this phenomenon, assume it's a direct import from the U.S., where everyone must sing KTV all the time. Upon arrival at KTV, you will be ushered through swanky lobbies and cacophonous hallways to your room, the size of which is determined by the number of people in your group. Now most KTVs have quite an eclectic mix of English songs available. You have classics like Elvis and the Beatles, 80s hits like Journey and U2, and of course modern day crooners like Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, and the Black Eyed Peas. Prepare a Chinese song to sing. Even if the song is simple and lame, it will leave quite a positive impression on your colleagues. China's expat community is extremely international. So one week you may get invited to try cricket, then the next, find yourself at a Belgian beer house. And then after that, learning to salsa with Latin buddies.
Now, meeting people through people is a great idea, but if you're totally new to a place, you can always turn to the internet. There are plenty of websites and even smartphone applications for meeting new people here in China. Tony, look at this one. She's looking for an English language partner. I'm perfect. Mm. You know, ads for language partners are actually very common. And you can even take a look at personal ads online for some possible romance. Hmm. I might take a look at that. That's it for this review on social settings and nightlife. Remember to check out our website for full videos of each of these episodes. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or concerns, shoot me an email at localwowai at bon.tv. I'm Donnie Newman. We'll see you next time on Local Lao Wai.